Wait, no, 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 you don't get to play dead. Why not? You're not a skeleton, let's start with that. But, but he always gets all the good lines. Marcus, get him off the stage. Right, right, come here. Woo! <laughs> and now we present for your entertainment the dance of death. Don't be scared. It's okay. Except for the fact that this thing is out of tune. Don't come up yet, Death! What? Don't come up yet! Oh, right. We're out of tune. What does that change? You're always out of tune. Good point. Crap. Okay. I think I'm, I think it's safe. You sure? People who are not new to well. Now hark to what I have to tell. I am that prince that men call Death. Thank you. Thank you. The flowers wither at my breath. Some men rejoice when I appear, while others shake and howl with fear. Most mortals try to flee from me. Some Welcome me with dignity. I come for mankind everywhere, both good and evil, foul and fair. Though rich or poor by circumstance, I'll take their places in my dance. But when I whistle, just for you. You'll pay the piper. What is due?
pretend that I just turned. Pretend is right. For leeches, herbs, electuaries, mandrake root, and and blast. What was that other one? Oh yes, purgatives, or anything a doctor gives to kill the ears. Hey, good. Where are you going? I wasn't done. I'm giving a speech here. Sit. Fine. Or anything a doctor gives to kill the ear. Uh, a good physician considers this his sacred mission to soothe the pain and treat the sick. Then get his payment pretty quick before the patient up and dies in spite of all his doctor tries. Forbid boils the plague or tumors. Each deadly ill is caused by humors. Forbid yellow bile or black or if it's blood or phlegm you lack by diet leeches and castor oil to lighten your purse is all my toil. <laughs> I pray you, doctor, look at me. I'm very ill, as you can see. <laughs> yes, I see. Well, um, I hope you brought your purse along when men can pay my artist strong. I've lots of gold, but what is well when I am in such feeble health? <laughs> huh, lots of gold, eh? Well... I see you aren't eating right. In faith, I have no appetite. Nor stomach neither tell the truth. You need my help in very sooth. Now let me see, stick out your tongue. Bah! Good heavens, man! You haven't won! But death has fingers to clutch your hand and dent you off to the promised land. But I have patience yet to see. Too late. You're dead. So come with me. Strike up the band, my good musician, and play a dance for our late position. my Hamlet or Macbeth. Men weep when I must greet my death. The ladies clamor at my door. The price of fame. <laughs> what a bore. I sleep with which of them I choose, but bow my heart. Before the muse, perhaps you'd like a uh, soliloquy? Perhaps to be or not. To be. Indeed, good sir, that is the question. But might I make one small suggestion? What? Well, since I am here to play my part, perhaps a um, duet scene were best to start? Hmm. How true. Your garb. Perhaps a ghost. <laughs> ah, then Hamlet's father suits you most. Let's. Sample of your quality. Indeed. Then, uh, soliloquy. But that I am for being to tell the secrets of my prison house. I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul, freeze thy young blood, and make thy two eyes start from their spheres. 
Oh, 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 your, your speech with horror fills my ears. Truly an actor of the grand old school. This prating ninny thinks me a fool. A puffed up player of his own kind. Perhaps then, sir, you wouldn't mind performing a speech from, say, Macbeth? <coughs> Would you enact his glorious death? <laughs> the perfect choice, I must confess. My favorite. I thought no less. Out! Out, brief candle! Um, that's my line. Uh, nay, I'm Macbeth. Oh, never mind. Thou art but a walking shadow, fool. And I, the director, stern and cruel. Your play is all. Have no regrets, you poor player who struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard. No more. Alas, am I to die? All flesh is grass. Just one last speech. You pompous ass. What reason have you now for fear? You played these roles your whole career. I am dead, Horatio. Indeed you are. <laughs> oh, if I had time, would you have not? Oh, I could tell you quite a lot of fustian rhetoric, no doubt. Are you quite dead? His candle's out.